Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, this is Gary, your host, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. This time, I want to take a look at these novels. I previously had done one just a few weeks ago on uh, a series of novels of, uh, of uh, uh, based on Marvel superheroes. And this time, I want to talk about uh, a series of novels based on the Batman, the animated series. So let's take a little look. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Batman the Animated Series. Well, it's uh, an American superhero animated TV series based on DC Comics' Batman. That's just in case you didn't know. And it was developed by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini and Mitch Bryan from uh, Warner Brothers Animation. And it first aired on September 5th 1992 ran through 95 and then had a final season in 97 i was with uh, some voice acting changes and some uh, some artistic changes in some of the characters and it was acclaimed as the best batman adaptation with the with a darker and more mature writing and the film noir style and outstanding voice acting, which uh, is cr uh, greatly credited largely to uh, Kevin Conroy, who unfortunately just passed away just a, just a few months ago. He was an outstanding Batman. And it shared the same universe as the later Superman animated series and Justice League animated series and some of the animated films. Okay, in these books here, at least uh, um, the regular paperbacks are were written by Gary, yes, Gary Gravel. He did the adaptations and they, they're all based on scripts. He did a good job of uh, flushing out the characters and, and the stories uh, uh, to a, a good degree. Now, Gary Gravel is an American science fiction author. And and surprisingly, I was surprised to find out, he's also a professional sign language interpreter. Ooh. And he wrote such science fiction novels as The Alchemists and uh, A Key for the Nonsuch among others, and he did the Hook novelization based on the uh, Robin Williams movie, um, and I read that when it first came out. I didn't know, know he had written that, and he also wrote the, what, uh, the Dream Right, and most recently, from what I understand, uh, he wrote a book titled Gods of the Forgotten based on Edgar Rice Burroughs' John Carter of Mars series. And I didn't know that until I saw this. And so I'm going to have to get that because I'm a big Edgar Rice Burroughs fan. And, uh... Huh. Yeah. Now... And these... Of course, these novels were uh, came out about 90, 93, 94 in that era, area. Let's we'll start with, I think this was the first one, Shadows of the Past. Um, yeah, and of course, a great cover from their uh, from their uh, end card for the credits. And this was based on the scripts for a. Uh, Appointment at Crime Alley, 
and Rob, Robin's Reckoning from those episodes in which um, it, we see uh, uh, Leslie, what was her name? Her last name, I've forgotten. The Dr. Leslie Tompkins, yeah. And we learn about her uh, um, backstory with with uh, Batman and, and uh, when she is kidnapped in here. And the rest, the other part is, uh, and I think they're the two plots are woven together in one novel, if I remember correctly. Um, and Robin's reckoning, that's when Robin is going back and uh, something new has popped up regarding the death of his parents and he's out for revenge so we get so we have a lot of flashbacks to hit to dick grace and robin origin and then the batmobile just rolled in the way then we have this one and i love this cover the duel to the death and this is a uh, based on the, the scripts for Two-Face, parts one and two, with involving uh, Harvey Dent, his backstory, how he be became Two-Face, and, and that, and Shadow of the Bat, parts one and two, and I've forgotten the, the uh, storyline with that one. Then we have this one, I won't pick it up, because... Uh, but I happen to have two copies of this one. I really, really enjoyed this one. The Dragon and the Bat. And this is based on two separate uh, um, scripts. But uh, from different... different uh, uh, they weren't directly r related. But one is a sequel to the other one. I guess there's about a year's time difference in there. And it's this, uh, based on the scripts Night of the Ninja and Day of the Samurai. So, if they, you, know, you know, that's really, really good. A lot of martial arts action. And then we have here. Here, this is Batman, the Mask of the Phantasm. Based on the script for the uh, uh, for the f the first full length a uh, animated movie, uh, and this was of course re released in theaters. And then all the those afterwards were uh, were straight to video, and those three books on the right there are all uh, American uh, versions. And then these, these two here were British versions. You can tell because this is, uh, well, it says so right in, inside, but these are, say, box tree right right there on the, uh, on the spine. Who published it? And then... Uh, from what I understand, Gary Gravel wrote one more that I have never seen involving, um, what's his name, uh, Mr. Freeze. And I think it was a might have been an adaptation of either scripts uh, from the series that involved um, Mr. Freeze or the Mr. Freeze animated movie. I'm not sure. And then we have this one here. Uh, Mystery of the Batwoman. It's a junior novelization written by Louise Simonson. Of course, and uh, this was uh, an animated animated movie. Uh, and it was just that mystery of the Batwoman. And they kept it a mystery. It was Batwoman and find out, spoilers, that it's three, three different women portraying... Uh, uh, the Batwoman. That's why he had such a hard time figuring out who she was. And that was, at least in some part, instrumental in bringing back the Batwoman character into the comics, the DC comics, which eventually resulted in the, uh, the, the Batwoman TV series. And I really enjoyed the first season of that, and for, too bad um, 
uh, Ruby Rose for health reasons had to uh, had to quit the part and I started watching the second season and I just didn't did not care for it and uh, after, after a few episodes in I just stopped watching it but I did enjoy the the, the first season and it could have been better um, but it was still very enjoyable and these I'm sure all of these books are still available out there in the secondhand bookstores because I come across them every now and again and I'm sure you can too and it's they're really very enjoyable reading like I said Gary Gravel flushes them out and I follow uh, Gary Gravel on uh, on Facebook he doesn't know me though <laughs> he doesn't know me know me from Adam but it's it's it it's some good reading uh I oh I, I was going to say I would like to have seen some original novels uh from from the uh, based on the animated series but how would you tell the difference between a novel based on the animated series and the re the regular uh, Batman series there are there there are a bunch of of uh, Batman novels out there uh, tied into the uh, the comics and not just novelizations but I'm, I'm I am glad that they are novel novelizations because you see more because there were such good stories in that series I mean the quality of writing was was better than than most uh, live-action prime prime time uh, series Probably even better than than the uh, live action Flash series that was uh, was on at the same time or just before this. I can't remember the timing on that. So that's what I've got for you this time. Please like, share, subscribe. If share uh, share it with your friends who are Batman fans or Batman the animated series fans. Or if they they like the character but just aren't interested in reading the comics, hey, here are some here is some alternatives for their reading pleasure. And thank you for joining me. And remember, dun, 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 comics are art.